In this video, I'll show you how to install an overhead dome light, which is a great addition for 68 through 76 Corvettes. To get this project started, you will need to remove several parts, starting with the T-tops, followed by the sun visors, the windshield crossover trim, and the two halo panels. With those out of the way, you can start removing the T-bar trim by carefully pulling it down. Take your time to avoid any damage. With the T-bar trim piece on the workbench, I poked a hole from the back to march the center. I also made a wiring harness to power the dome light and connected it to the factory courtesy light wiring. To install the dome light, I centered the base on the trim piece and marked its exact location and I also used a depth gauge to measure and ensure the terminals would not touch the metal bar and cause a short circuit. I used masking tape to mark the location of the dome light and the area to be cut so the base would lay flat against the trim. Once that was done, I drilled a hole in each corner to cut the vinyl, foam backing and cardboard with a utility knife. This allows the dome light assembly to sit almost completely flush against the trim piece. I secure the dome light base with sheet metal screws. The base is very light and the screws work fine for this. As you can see, there is plenty of room between the wire terminals and the T-bar, but I insulated the area with masking tape to be safe. I assembled the dome light before reinstalling the T-bar trim and made all the necessary electrical connections. I then reinstalled all the trim pieces I had removed and tested the light. I reused the incandescent bulb, but it looked bad. And it gets really hot, so I order a 400 lumen LED bulb instead. Here you have a picture of the interior of my Corvette without an overhead dome light followed by a picture of the interior with an overhead dome light with an incandescent bulb and finally the dome light with an LED bulb. This is an involved project but definitely worth the time and effort as it makes the car that more enjoyable. If you haven't seen the video where I replace all the interior courtesy lights with LED bulbs, I'll provide a link. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.